Welcome back everybody to the channel. Finally got a new YouTube video for you today. Today, we're going to be going over Honda versus Toro push mowers. Let's get into it. Alright, we got Toro versus Honda commercial push mowers. We got the two right here. I'm gonna be going over what I like about each one, what I dislike about each one, which one's more powerful, cuts through grass better, all that stuff. Um, at the end of the day, it also does come down to preference though. Um, but these are my opinions. But also, I have, I have both of them. So, you know, I'm gonna show you how they're like. First up, I'm gonna be talking about control, how easy they are to control. We're gonna get on the Toro. How you engage the blade, press this lever down right here, engage the blade. Now, one thing that a lot of people complain about is the drivetrain. And that's right here, it's all the way down here. So you kinda of have to reach with your fingers all the way down here and control it like this. Now, this has hurt a lot of people's forearms, you know, it makes them sore, whatever. I personally, don't have an issue with it, I'm just used to it. I like it. Now over here on the Honda. Now Honda is a little easier to use to engage the blade. You press down this button, and you push forward. There we go, now the blade would be engaged. If you just wanna walk with it and you know activate the drive, you just push both forward like that. You can just use your thumb to toggle the clutch. This is a lot easier to you know use as far as where everything is located. Now with speed, you know to turn it on, everything's right here. Obviously you have the choke right there, and then you have fast, and this also controls you know how fast the mower accelerates. Now even though this Honda has you know the option to control the speed, whatever. Every Honda we've had, we have about four, still very slow. It's very slow, especially depends on what it is. Now, compared to this Toro, it's a snail, and I'll show you why. You look over here behind the gas tank, you have a variable speed. Now, this has neutral, first gear, second gear, and third gear. Obviously, in neutral, you can just push it around, nothing's gonna happen. Now, first, second, and third are the speeds. In third gear, you just pull it back and switch it. Third gear, this thing absolutely rips. Now I'm gonna turn these on and I'm gonna try and drive them and show you and see if you can see a difference. Okay, I'm gonna put a side by side of those two clips. And as you can see, the Toro is a little bit faster. Now, where the speed really shines and you know comes through is when you actually are cutting the grass. Now, one thing I have found with the Honda mowers while you're cutting is, especially really thick grass, bogs down super easy. And when you're cutting, this mower slows down a lot. Sharp blades, everything. Versus the Toro slows down almost not at all. Even in thick grass, obviously you have to go a little slower to catch every blade, but this thing just keeps powering through the grass. Now, right now, I'm gonna show you a clip from my TikTok of me powering through, I don't even know, six, eight inches of grass, and it didn't miss a single blade. Now, if I were to do that with the Honda, it would it would clog up, you know, it would clog up the pathway to the bag very quickly. Um, the Honda just does not handle thick and long grass as well, um, and it's very slow, you know, especially compared to this Toro. Now, as far as maintenance goes, you know, the Toro is pretty easy. Got the air filter right here, obviously oil, and here's the oil filter. Now, something that's a little different about these Hondas is obviously has air filter and all that, but these ones actually do not have an oil filter. 
So when you do the oil change, you do not have to change a filter. You know, at, at least this one that we have, we did not have to change any filters. So I would say overall, Toro definitely has an edge over the Honda. Um, first of all, pros, it is way faster, does cuts way better in thicker grass, thick, wet, tall grass, has slightly bigger bag. It has that variable speed as well. Honda, Honda solid mower. It's for sure awesome. It's just, it just doesn't quite compete compared to the Toro. Now, one thing I do like a lot better about the Honda, I will say, the placement of where everything is started and the pulley and everything like that. You can see, if I just get behind the mower, I can turn this on and then pull and start the mower from here. Whereas the Toro, I pull it off the trailer, I have to go all the way to the side right here, walk over, then flick it and pull it. You know, it's just a lot easier with the Honda to stay behind it the entire time. Now, that's really the only downside I have had with this Toro mower. And keep in mind, I have been using both of these mowers for three plus years. I have so many hours on both of the mowers. Before we got these Toros, we were just exclusively using the Hondas. Once we got this Toro, Game changer, complete game changer. All right, next important factor is definitely price point. Honda comes in at about $1,700, Toro at about $1,400. Now, once again, a lot of things are preference, such as the layout of the handling and all that stuff. But, you know, having used both of these mowers extensively, I'd say it is just true that the Toro push mower definitely cuts way better and just powers through that taller, thicker grass, especially in the springtime, that is so important. Considering the price points of both of these mowers, 10 out of 10 times, I would recommend the Toro. Now, once again, like I did say, it is preference. A lot of people like Honda better, but personally, having used these mowers for years, Toro just kicks Honda's trash. Now, Honda's a great company. It's just, in this case, this Toro push mower, just way better. That being said, Go buy yourself a Toro. Also, Toro, let's talk. Sponsor me. All right, see you next video, guys. As always, thank you so much. And um, yeah, if you like the video, for sure like and subscribe. I know every YouTuber says that, it's basic, but you know, it really does help out a lot. So I can keep pumping these videos out for you guys. I'm gonna be uploading twice a week. Um, I'll probably end up doing one video like this as well as one vlog style video so you can look forward to both of these types of videos. Peace out.